just uh, as you just heard, uh, it is a really long and interesting and sometimes a difficult process to develop uh, products. Um, and since this is also um, an Audi award and competition, uh, it is in the context of Audi. So what, what does that mean? If you create uh, any idea or product for Audi, you have to know what Audi is. Otherwise, it doesn't fit. It has to fit into the family with all their the characters and their um, specialties. And if you develop any any product for a, for a brand, for Audi, you cannot just say, ah, no, I sell it to another brand. It won't fit. And the reason uh, we want uh, to discuss right now. But before I start uh, telling you something about Audi, I would like you to tell me what you know about. So the idea is, um, if we mention a brand or if we see the four rings, there's a whole program in your head already running. Uh, and what, what comes into your mind if you see the four rings? Audi, what does it say to you? Okay, we just maybe go. Okay, yeah? I understood that uh, Audi has always been in the prehistory of Audi, uh, as a company, it, it has always uh, went as uh, the spearhead of um, of design, and, uh, and it has always managed to get the best engineers and best designers. And that's not a, so. It's not a new, new thing that Audi is a bit premium. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's long roots. Mm -hmm. Uh, to me, the four rings, uh, they mean uh, most of all advanced uh, technology. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same as to me. So dynamic uh, and uh, uh, sporty and uh, durability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would also say maybe technology. And also that uh, when you drive around and you see an Audi driver, uh, they usually want to uh, show that they are Audi drivers, mm -hmm. <laughs> not like all other, some other brands. Yeah. So they want to want to be visible. Okay. Uh, wasn't it just the birthday of a Volkswagen Group Technik slogan mm -hmm. yesterday or something? Sorry, again? Wasn't yesterday or the day before that like the birthday of the Slogan. Oh, from uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it turned by yeah. 20 years or something yesterday, and I think that's a slogan quite well sums it up like Oops. advancement through mm -hmm. technology. Okay. Yeah, a lot of always uh, engineering design, very strict design, I think, mm -hmm. but the best quality. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of energy when you see our, <laughs> uh, at least in my age. Yep. Same, same thoughts. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. Okay, thanks to the sport. <laughs> You're also not from Audi, so we yeah. mm -hmm. also give this more thoughts. Attention to details. Uh -huh. It's fun because mm -hmm. uh, at least the model that I like is the TT and uh, the, the, the A3, the convertible. It's always a uh, it's, it's freedom and fun, of course. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it also gives you status in some way. Okay. So basically, <coughs> I could stop now because you know everything about Audi. Um, it's always amazing. There are so many different people there. Um, and uh, if I see the, the what is the common part? Yeah, it's uh, what we call the, the, the brand uh, image. This is pretty much clear. Even though everywhere in the world, if I would ask uh, now uh, a 
um, the same question in other countries, probably I will get the same answers. Maybe small differences, but the big area is the same. And this is always uh, amazing what's coming out of it. But uh, understanding, <coughs> understanding the brand and this environment you have to, to uh, consider when, when doing uh, a design for, for Audi uh, is always strongly connected to history. Um, if, uh, history is, is part of your identity. Um, this will be the source where you get your experience from and, and uh, shows a little bit what you have done in your life. And so also uh, with uh, Audi, you have the four rings and probably you know a little bit about history, <coughs> the, uh, the old brands of, of uh, the Auto Union uh, as it was called before. It was Audi, D, uh, DKW, Horch, and uh, Bandera. And this uh, four uh, brands were uh, unified uh, in, in 1932 because of economic crisis. We had somehow the same idea. We had the economic crisis, so many car companies had problems and they merge or uh, uh, they get bought by other companies. So this happened also uh, back then. And this, uh, the most important man probably was uh, Mr. Horch. Uh, he was founding the, the Horch company. But uh, I always, we probably uh, know many of these, of these cars. But what is really interesting, if you see uh, these cars, um, they were always competing in some kind of event. Uh, racing cars or, uh, or uh, rally cars. Here you see the famous uh, uh, race driver, Dan Rosemeyer, in a Horsch Coupé. Very sporty, elegant car. And also, this Horsch uh, 930 uh, was a very elegant, a very innovative car. And when you go through the brands, you will discover similarities. Uh, similarities in something like uh, this. Um, this was aerodynamic car from uh, Paul Jarai, uh, trying to find out what is aerodynamics about. This was very important for the car business, um, improving the cars over time, innovation, uh, finding out new technologies, new solutions. So this Vorsprung durch Technik or advancement through technology, uh, this is not just any slogan somebody was thinking of, so this is really part of our history. Also, uh, you always have some sporty and some prestige cars, so uh, Audi as a premium brand is uh, for sure, uh, goes back in, in, in the early 1900s, <coughs> also DKV, uh, front wheel drive, or also here, the, the racing car, um, this is really in all these brands. This is the common, the common idea of this. Uh, what we have now as our brand identity. Here, yeah, this F1 is the, the first front-wheel drive um, transversal engine. Um, also, streamlined cars, racing cars. All the time, you have the same idea. <coughs> also, with Honda, you know, always trying to testing your your uh, new products. What we heard uh, uh, just before, that you, if you have an idea, you need some kind of testing, of course. Um, and in the old days, um, the car was still a very young product, uh, very um, with lots of, of uh, problem connected. And you have to test the cars with extreme, uh, or in extreme situations, and this is over all this uh, alpine run, this is where you got uphill and downhill and all these things. Are the brakes good enough? Is it strong enough? So this is where the very early way of, of uh, testing. Uh, also here, getting this uh, streamline from Liege, Roma Liege, uh, driving at a, at a very high speed, a long distance. Uh, and if we have today our Le Mans race soon coming up, it's the same spirit we always had before. So, uh, in this uh, Audi Union, when it was formed Audi Union, of course, uh, you had more or a better economic background. Uh, and of course, you have now four brands to represent, which is also impressive. 